This is a plastic model of the blood smear of a human. You're looking at all of the cellular components of the blood. And uh, the cells that are shown in red, and one of them is labeled with the number one. These are all red blood cells or erythrocytes. One of the things you notice, they don't have nucleus because the space of the nucleus is occupied by additional molecules of hemoglobin to increase the amount of oxygen carried by the blood to the tissues. The other cells that are shown on the model and one of the white blood cells is numbered four. These two that are numbered four are neutrophils and they are distinguished by the number of lobes in the nucleus. You notice that the ones that are shown <clears throat> in this photograph, one of them have three lobes, and the other one, the nucleus, have five lobes. The granules in the cytoplasm are also shown on the model. Neutrophils are important vagocytes. They are mostly associated with engulfing bacteria and their number will increase in the blood if there is a bacterial infection. The other white blood cells shown in the model and in this video is the cell that's numbered five. You notice the nucleus have two lobes, but you notice that the granules in the cytoplasm are large and they have a color that's orange or golden. Those are the eosinophils and eosinophils are important in certain type of allergic reactions. They are also involved in asthma and uh, their number will also increase uh, as a result of infection with parasitic worms. The third white blood cells that is a granulocyte is the basophil. And the basophil is uh, shown in this image. They show the nucleus with the three lobes and they are distinguished by having a granules, but you notice that the granules are blue in color. They, yes, the basophils are, uh, are important Although their number is very small, they don't exceed normally 1% of the white blood cells. They are important because they produce the anticoagulant heparin. The other two of the white blood cells are the lymphocytes. And uh, this is one of the lymphocytes that's considered to be a small lymphocyte. You notice that the nucleus is round and it will occupy most of the cell. The other kind of uh, uh, lymphocytes is uh, a little bit larger in size. The nucleus is also round. They have a little bit more cytoplasm. Lymphocytes are an important part of the immune system. 
these are the cells that we call B cells and the B cells are important because they produce antibi antibodies and the other type of uh, lymphocytes are T cells and uh, T cells are important uh, they don't produce antibodies uh, but they destroy uh, certain cells and pathogen by direct contact. The next type of white blood cell shown on the model is a large white blood cell with the number 3. These are the monocytes. They have a nucleus that's shaped like a kidney. These are also vagocytes. These cells are important because they migrate into the tissues and form macrophages. So we have skin macrophages, liver macrophages, lung macrophages that were originally monocytes that migrated from the blood into the tissue. We also notice in the blood smear small fragments. These are the platelets and the platelets are important for one major function and that is they are involved in blood clotting. So on the plastic model, we can identify all of the cellular components